The stars have fascinated humanity for as long as we can remember, and the development of astronomy has allowed us to delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe. However, our view of the cosmos may be under threat due to the increasing number of satellites in space. A recent study of Hubble Space Telescope images has revealed that satellites are significantly impacting our ability to observe the universe. In this video, I will be explaining the findings of this study and the potential implications of satellite constellations on astronomy. But before we continue, I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude towards our channel's supporters. Your generous support allows us to continue bringing you informative and quality content. We truly appreciate your contribution. Thank you so much for being a part of our community and for supporting our work. For many years, astronomers have been concerned about the impact of satellite constellations on ground-based observatories. However, with the increasing number of satellites being launched into space, concerns have now spread to space-based instruments like the Hubble Space Telescope. To investigate the impact of satellites on the Hubble's observations, a team of researchers including over 11,000 citizen scientists from the Hubble Asteroid Hunter Project analyzed images taken by the telescope between 2002 and 2021. They found that 2.7% of the images with a typical exposure time of 11 minutes were crossed by satellites. The probability of finding satellite trails in Hubble images has also increased with time, from 3.7% in 2002 to 5.9% in 2021. The reason for this increase is the Hubble's orbit, which has decayed since its launch in 1990, bringing the telescope to an altitude of around 334 miles 538 kilometers above Earth. In this lower orbit, the telescope has become increasingly sensitive to satellites in higher orbits. These satellites affect the images produced by Hubble by appearing as bright streaks as they race past the space telescope during the period its lens is open to collect light from the universe. What is worrying is that the streaks were found even in images taken prior to the deployment of the Starlink mega constellation by SpaceX. This means that the problem is only going to get worse, as only a small fraction of planned satellites is currently in orbit. Eventually, SpaceX hopes to have as many as 42,000 Starlink satellites in low Earth orbit, while British firm OneWeb has permission to launch a constellation of 648 broadband satellites, with plans to add up to 7,000 units with future upgraded spacecraft versions. The European Southern Observatory, ESO, predicted in 2020 that by 2030, there could be as many as 75,000 low-orbit satellites around Earth. The findings of this study highlight the need for close study and monitoring of the growing number of artificial satellites currently planned. The impact of mega-constellations on astronomy needs to be better assessed, and baseline data like that established by this study will help future researchers to make those assessments. In conclusion, while the development of satellite technology is exciting, and has many potential benefits, it is important to consider the negative impact it can have on our view of the universe. As more satellites are launched, we must ensure that we do not lose sight of the stars that have inspired us for centuries. And now, it's time to answer one of your questions. This comment comes from Richard Leet Blue's Harmonica Channel, who brings up a thought-provoking question about mapping the universe. Richard asks, how do you map an infinite universe? That's a great question, Richard. While the universe is indeed vast and seemingly infinite, astronomers use various techniques to map the observable universe, which is the portion of the universe that we can see and study. These techniques include using telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope to capture images of distant galaxies and mapping the cosmic microwave background radiation left over from the Big Bang. While we may never be able to map the entire universe, studying the observable universe can still provide valuable insights into the nature of the cosmos. Thank you for your comment and for keeping the conversation going. And that wraps up today's video. If you have any questions or thoughts you'd like to share, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share it with family and friends who might be interested. Thank you for watching.